G'day ladies and gentlemen, it's uh, Sean Savage here from Streaker Marine and today we're on board a Quintrex 4 Renegade Pro. I um, tried to come out in a bit of, bit of weather, a bit more realistic sometimes, you know, you're going to come out and it's going to be a bit choppier. Um, the unique thing about the Renegades is the Renegades, they're just at home in the estuaries and the rivers as they are out in the bay. Um, obviously, being a side console style boat, you know, you don't have to be Einstein to work out that you're going to be in the elements and it's going to be a bit spray, a bit wet and uh, certainly a bit cold, especially down here. You know, it's August uh, in Melbourne, so it's cold. But if you want to go fishing and you're fed income about what you do, this is the style of boat you want to be in. So we're just idling along at the moment, 1500 RPM, about seven or eight kilometres an hour. Nice and slow, sort of alongside the waves. I'm going to show you some of the features in the boat first. So, front casting platform, um, heaps of storage. Anywhere there's a hatch and these little slivets, you know, obviously that's what opens up. And we can open these up here. And there's heaps of stuff in there. There's safety gear bags, there's fenders, there's eskies, there's a whole box and dice. And that's where you're going to put majority of your stuff, especially if you want to keep it out of the elements. Now, being a coastal and a river boat, we have a roto molded anchor well, and we also have a bow mount thruster plate. So, best of both worlds. We can anchor or we can use an electric motor. We have a seat position in the front casting platform here. So, that is for uh, a lean seat when we're casting. We have in the Pro. Now, if you're not familiar with the Renegades yet, Quintrex make a Renegade and a Renegade Pro. The Renegade Pro comes with more standard features. It comes with these nice sea deck pads along the top decks. It comes with stainless steel rod holders rather than plastic ones. It comes with higher backrest seats that are a bit more comfortable. It comes with a bimini cover, so we've got some shade. It comes with rod storage forward off the console. And it also comes with hydraulic steering rather than mechanical, which is a big plus. So plenty of reasons to look at the Pro. Um, at the rear here, rear casting platform, we've got a live bait tank and rear storage. One thing I've sort of noticed since I've been out here is if you are copping some spray and you want to fish off the back of the boat, a Teflon lid is probably going to get pretty slippery. Never thought about that. So that's something to consider if you are a, a bay fisherman in one of these things. Now, to put it to the test, we're going to stop. We're going to sit in this chop and we're going to stand in the bow front casting platform, the centre and the rear. So the boat's rocking around, you know, we're in some water. Um, up the front, one step, two step. So if we're, if we're casting and we're uh, going for whatever we're doing, look, I haven't wobbled once yet. Um, I feel comfortable up here. So the rear cast, the front casting platform is a bit deeper than your traditional, like your Hornets and etc. Um, so there is a bit more space there. But I'm quite comfortable up here. I have had no little moments, um, so that's good news. Looking down at the boat here, you can see the space we have. Step into the centre now. This should be better, I would think. Much the same, to be honest with you. Um, haven't wobbled yet. The whole time I've been watching the rear casting platform, and that has been moving. Uh, it is backed into the sea a little bit, but it looks like the back of the boat's going to be the rockiest, in my opinion. We'll give it a go, eh? For sure. Oh, whoa, geez. Yeah, I'm not fishing up here. There's not a chance I would end up swimming 100%. It is, the rear casting platform's gonna be for inland lakes and ain't for out here. Um, there's a rear step and rail at the back there. So if we did decide to have a good look at the fish, um, that's how we're getting back in with that transom step and rail. We've got a Yamaha 60 horsepower four stroke. That's still running at the moment. They're dead quiet. No smoke, no fumes, no emissions. Um, working our way over to the console. We have a Yamaha, sorry, a Yamaha gauges, our switch panels, our sounder GPS, and this phone charger stores our phone and charges it. And that is um, a standard feature in the Pro. Fuel goes in just here easy um, so let's get it up on the plane and get it going hey so well actually no 
let's just cruise along. We're gonna head straight into the chop and we're gonna go at this pace because this is where we'll get wet. You're gonna get wet at these slow speeds. So I might as well be the test dummy. We're heading straight into the chop now. The boat will rock around. Um, we'll go to the front and have a look. Not sure if you got anything out of that. It was worth it or not. All right, let's get this boat going, hey? So, a little bit of gas, get it up on the plane. Okay, the boat planes pretty easily, which is great, especially in this choppier weather. I don't have to lift the bow up too much to get her going. Uh, we're doing 3,500 RPM at 25 kilometers an hour. Have a little look over here. We're following C now. We're gonna turn back into it. One thing I have noticed is the boat is picking up and reducing a lot of speed in the chop. So you do have to be a little bit careful of keeping one hand on the wheel, one hand on the throttle, which I'm struggling to do today, but that's okay. Um, we're going straight into a good metre chop now at 30 kilometres an hour. And the boat is sitting proud. It is chugging along pretty nicely. Um, it's probably bigger than a metre, to be honest with you. Um, and the boat's pretty bloody well settled. We're doing 38 kilometres an hour at the moment. We're punching straight into it. Um, I'm standing at the moment and she's going good. So let's see if we can get a little bit of footage of that. Probably didn't work out my favour too well. That's all right. We're going good. Turn it in. We'll get a little bit more power going now. 4,300 RPM, 38 kilometres an hour. Let me give that another go, eh? All right, that's pretty impressive, really. I mean, it hasn't done a lot wrong. So I hope that helps. If you're looking for a side console for your next purchase, um, certainly consider the Quintrex range. The Quintrex range is the, uh, the pinnacle of side consoles. You don't have to be uh, the world's greatest boat handler to know that. Everybody knows that Quintrex has the resale value. They have the street cred and they make fantastic products. So it's certainly something you should be putting on your, on your hit list for your next purchase. And if we can help at Streaker Marine, always please let us know. We'd love to help you with your next boat purchase. Thanks for watching.